somebody will sit down comfortably on YouTube or Facebook and be shouting, eat egg, one egg a day, one egg a day, one egg a day. It is good for your health. It is good for your health. It is good for your health. All of you, egg is good for children. Oh, you know, for the 45 years, 50, 45 years, you know, say, one egg every day, one egg every day, one egg every day, one egg every day. Go on, I can see one egg every day. Etana egg, you don't chop them. Every day. All right. The man you are seeing here just died of cardiac arrest induced by blood clotting. Mr. Ibu just died of cardiac arrest induced by blood clotting. Forget the grammar. The grammar does not matter. But the question you should ask is this. What in the cause? What in the cause? What, what causes this blood clotting that gives rise to cardiac arrest? That should be the question you, you should ask. Not asking about the question about how uh, the adopted daughter took over his uh, Twitter account. Mm, took, took over his Twitter account. Took over his uh, TikTok account. Those, those questions are not the question. The question is, can you ask what causes it? As you see me now, this morning, I have checked my BP and my sugar. Check on, check on my belly. Check. You see it. This is my sugar kit. This is my BP kit and so on and so forth. I have checked my sugar. I have checked my BP. This morning, you, have you done it? What causes blood clotting? Listen now, Genti. Genti. God in heaven is the giver of life and he take it. We human beings, all we do is to do the necessary thing we're supposed to do on our own. Do you understand? Don't play with this video. Take these measures I'm going to show you now. If you like, leave it. But one day, one day you remember that Prof. Habakkuk said it. Now, the blood vessel that carry blood, food substances and oxygen to the heart is called coronary artery. Oh, we have about coronary artery. Coronary artery, this coronary artery carries oxygen and food materials to the heart because the heart needs food materials, the heart needs oxygen, the heart needs nutrients. This coronary artery, you have it, I have it. Every living soul have coronary artery. That is where the problem comes. Because if you don't take care of your coronary artery and you enter it 45, Obasaragi, 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 I am shouting again. Look at how a coronary artery is supposed to be. Look at this picture. You see this picture? You see that this coronary artery is free. You see that blood can flow in and out very, very well. Blood can flow into the heart, carrying food nutrients without any issue, without any trouble. Now look at this one. Look at this one. Are you seeing something? Are you seeing Mountain Everest and Mountain Kilimanjaro at the walls of this artery? What is this thing that is that is growing inside? Why is this thing narrowing the road through which blood can flow? Why is this thing causing traffic? Causing traffic that even cars cannot pass through. This mighty thing you see that is growing at the walls of artery, the artery, is cholesterol, fatty issues. Even, even some part of casual are there, cellular waste products and fibrins. These are the things there. This, thing, this, is, this situation is called atherosclerosis. Now, this thing is growing. It's growing. The most painful part of it is that this person don't know that something is growing inside his artery. Oh, man. That's why this thing is painful. You will not know that something is growing inside. You still be living your normal life. You still be walking around, you still be jubilating, you still be, you still be dancing, dancing on TikTok, shouting, hey, 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 enjoying yourself. You don't know that atherosclerosis is there. Some persons will have signs like high blood pressure, but some do not have at all, at all, at all, at all. Even you that is looking at me, be careful. The question is, why is this thing growing? What causes this? Listen, the major factor that gives rise to this thing you see that is growing inside this artery is when you always eat red meat. Apart from the fact that family history, genetic factors, smoking and other ones and so on and so forth. See, in Nigeria today, you see red meat. If you know, if, if you know something, if, hi God, I don't know how to express this. I'm not going to say a queen here. Barra red meat also, barra red, run away from red meat. You see red meat. You see full cream milk. Full cream milk. 
run away from it. You see egg, egg, egg. Somebody will sit down comfortably on YouTube or Facebook and be shouting, eat egg, one egg a day, one egg a day, one egg a day. It is good for your health. It is good for your health. It is good for your health. All of you, egg is good for children. Oh, you know, for the 45 years, 45 years, you know, say, hey, one egg every day, one egg every day, one egg every day, one egg every day. Go on, I can see one egg every day. A tala egg, you don't chop them. Every day. So if you don't know the difference between full cream milk, full cream milk and, uh, and uh, um, field milk, field milk is better than full cream milk. In here, in here, in here. It will not form at a slow Look at it. The thing is growing big. Going big, one day it will block the entire area. Sometimes it don't even block; it will just burst. When it bursts, it will pour inside and cover the area. When once it bursts and cover the area, blood clotting. It will clot the blood. Blood will not reach the heart again. Food materials will not reach the heart again, and so on and so forth. If you are listening to me, if you are hearing my voice, I want to beg you in the name of God. Before you have eaten red meat in the past, or maybe you have stopped, or you are still eating red meat, or egg, or milk, biko, biko, any place you see salmon at, take it. Any place you see salmon at, take it. No matter the cost, nothing is costlier than ndo, nothing is costlier than life. You need it. You need it. It will help to promote your HDL cholesterol and help to reduce your LDL cholesterol. See, this is not a matter of whether you run tests, you have cholesterol, or you don't have cholesterol, because many things are involved in these atherosclerosis issues. And thank God, salmonite is a natural product that do not have side effects. I am begging in the name of God. If you are afraid of getting fake ones because there are fake ones in the market today, call me. My phone number is there, call me or chat me up. If you chat me up before, you've, um, I didn't respond, chat me again. Call me again. This is a matter of Ndonong. I know why I'm telling you this. I know why I'm telling you this. If you must eat in here, really, focus on fish. Focus on fish. Focus on white meat is better. Bikonu, Bikonu. You see, once, once this thing you see here now, once this thing blocks your artery, it's over. It's over. It's over. If it blocks the artery that is sending blood to the brain, once it blocks the artery sending blood to the brain, hey, it will lead to stroke. It will lead to stroke. So in summary, you need salmonate and allicin. Come here and get salmonate and allicin. Be taking at least once every three months or once every four months. Once every four months. Please do not play with avocado pia. Do not play with ubebeke or uboibo. Ubebeke is enriched with monounsaturated fat and is enriched with vitamin E. Very, very important. Don't play with vegetable soup. Don't play with vegetable soup. Don't play with vegetable. You say ogo, um, water leaf, and all that. Do not play with them. Do not play with them. One name, do not play with them. Very, very, very important. Cholesterol from, from plants are high with HDL. They are high in HDL cholesterol. That is why fruits are very good, especially healthy fruits that have low glycemic power. Try and subscribe to my YouTube channel and you're going to learn a lot of Habakkuk fans. This is what I have for you. Rest in peace, Mr. Ibo. And we that is alive, we should try our best and do the right thing. This is where I'm going to stop. Thank you very much and God bless you. I love you all. Peace out.